Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are getting really close to the end of Henry VI Part 3 and today we get to hear from Warwick in Act 5, Scene 2. So yesterday, to kick off Act 5, Scene 1, we have Warwick mustering an army and we have Edward mustering an army and Edward and his dudes came to Coventry to try to outwit Warwick and as Warwick's guys are approaching and co and coming into the city um, to like put all their forces together, that whole thing. We find out that Clarence has actually defected and has gone back to support his brother, King Edward. So Warwick is still on King Henry's side, Clarence is now on King Edward's side, and at the end of Act 5, Scene 1, um, Warwick is sort of like, well, I'd be stupid to fight you here, so let's go fight over there. So Act 5, Scene 2 starts out over there, um, sort of by the battlefield, and we have Edward coming in with the very, very beat up and destroyed body of Warwick. Um, he is very much on, on the verge of death, and Edward actually says, you know, why don't you just sort of go ahead and die already? I'm going to leave you here. Just die. Why don't you? And he leaves, and Warwick alone on stage, says, ah, who is nigh? Come to me, friend or foe, and tell me who is Victor, York or Warwick. <laughs> Why ask I that? My mangled body shows, my blood, my want of strength, my sick heart shows that I must yield my body to the earth, and by my fall, the conquest to my foe. Thus yields the cedar to the axe's edge, whose arms gave shelter to the princely eagle, under whose shade the ramping lion slept, whose top branch o'erpeered love's spreading tree and kept low shrubs from winter's powerful wind. These eyes, that now are dimmed with death's black veil, have been as piercing as the midday sun to search the secret treasons of the world. The wrinkles in my brows, now filled with blood, were likened oft to kingly sepulchres, for who lived king? But I could dig his grave. And who durst smile when Warwick bent his brow? Lo, now my glory smeared in dust and blood. My parks, my walks, my manners that I had even now forsake me, and of all my lands is nothing left me but my body's length. Why, what is pomp, rule, reign, but earth and dust? And live how we can, yet die we must. So he just sort of gets to lament on his on his life for a little while and how helpful he thought that he was to the king and how sad it is that he's now gone and that he has absolutely nothing left and life was kind of futile because he's dying here on a battlefield with nothing but just his beat up body. So then when he's done talking, Somerset and Oxford come in and they're like, are you dead yet? And Warwick is sort of like, where's, where's Montague? Montague will, will save me. He'll win the whole war. And they're like, ah, Montague died crying for you. Ha! Ah. And he's like, oh, that sucks. And he dies saying farewell to everyone. And they're like, okay, now let's go win this war. And that's the end of Act 5, Scene 2. And we've just got a couple scenes left to go, I think, um, just just through this week is, is all that's left of Henry VI. And then we're on to Henry VIII. And then we'll be done with the Henrys. Seven months later, we'll be done with the Henrys. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow for more. Mwah.